the producers kept coming to me like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, you, you're good? You don't, you, it's not too much? And I was just like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. This next question comes from Yash. Uh, how do you handle the pressure of big events? Uh, they say, I've got a big event coming up, but I'm incredibly nervous, so I'm not sure how to handle the nerves. Well, uh, would you like to tackle this first? I mean, there's a lot of things that you do. I don't you know do, what so. big events you think I've got going on. I mean, you, you basically run dive. Is that a big event? <laughs> Is that a big event? I guess, um, what's not embarrassing to talk about? Uh, <laughs> um, Actually, okay, this isn't about like in relation to mm-hmm. big events, but pressure in general. Mm-hmm. I think maybe um, I'm peculiar in how I handle pressure because I think under intense pressure, I actually get too calm. Ooh. It's not that I shut down. I'm very like hyper aware, okay. but I, my body won't let me react. Mm, okay. Or not react. How do I explain it? Like I just don't freak out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not one to freak out about anything. And so for example, um, I've done a lot of live mm. uh, production mm-hmm. assistance. And so I was the stage manager for a huge charity event in LA. Uh, back in like 2018. And it was with like a lot of celebrities. And it was, mm. there was 20 acts on the bill that night. It was all for charity for gun violence awareness. Um, and so I had to basically like report… Like run the whole stage. Uh-huh. And I think I had one day notice for it. So I was just looking at mm. it. And so the producers kept coming to me like… Are you okay? And I was like… Yeah. Meanwhile… Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure everyone? Calm. everyone? And they're like, Do you, you're good? You know, you, it's not too much? And I was just like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's like, well, what do you I think it is? Tell you, it's a lot. <laughs> oh my but gosh. But for, for events where the spotlight's more on you. I think it's because there's no spotlight on me uh, when I'm doing this, right? But for you where all the tension's on you, yeah. how, do, how is it that you've um, managed to handle those types of pressures? Oh man. I mean, I guess uh, for me, it's a little different because I am a solo artist. That's the thing. So like, you know, before my first comeback stage or like before like the first like on move scene for like music video when we start filming, it's sometimes I wish I had members to be like, hey, can we all talk about mm. this? Like build the team spirit up so I'm not just freaking out by myself. But thankfully, you know, I have my wonderful dance teams I work with and my staff that are wonderful and supportive. But uh, I don't know. I feel like in pressure of big events, for me, it's typically always the first stage of my comeback. That mm. typically makes me freak out because, you know, there's the rehearsals before you got the dry, the camera, then the live show. And it's like, if I mess up during any of those, I'm like, this is literally my first day. Why do I suck? Ah. Like, but if you, uh, once you get through it, you're kind of like, I'm able to repeat this process. Exactly. I, get, I bet, because you did musical theater. So yes. I bet you it's a lot like opening night jitters, right? Yeah, very similar Don't to you get, night jitters, It becomes yeah. more automatic once mm-hmm. you like keep doing the shows. But it's so interesting though because I, I get more nervous for my stages as an idol than I did for when I did theater programs. Even though the, the plays I did, they're like two hours long and I had to come off, come on, costume change, makeup change. But just for the three minutes or so that I'm standing on a stage alone. Mm. But that's like, probably oh. it, right? Because it's alone. And it's yeah. also music. So it's probably yeah. more personal, right? The actual… Mm. It's not like, oh, this musical that has like a hundred iterations of it. Right. You know, where you you can be detached personally from <sighs> the material or like right. how the outcome is. But if it's music, surely it's like you want to express it the best way that you can because it's yours. Exactly. So yeah. Um, so uh, have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to calm the nerves, honestly, what I would suggest, yeah. because what I do, I, I check my breathing. I make sure my pulse is down mm. because, you know, you can't get out there and be like, oh, hello, yes, welcome to my first stage. It's time to talk about things now. Huh? Like, calm down, breathe, drink some water. I don't know. If you want to cry beforehand, cry. Like, just get it out if you need to. Like, I don't know. Just breathe and just make sure, like, run through whatever you have to do ahead of time. Like if you're standing yeah. backstage or if it's before a presentation in class, like if you're sitting in your seat, run through it all in your head before you go up, I guess. Yeah. That helps exponentially. Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that episode? If you did, you can always listen to the full episodes on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And also do not forget to subscribe and follow this channel. Also, turn on notifications. 